Mr. PC is Paul Chambers. That's one of the things that we have to understand. And it was John Coltrane, um, in some ways, paying tribute to uh, who was such an influential bass player in jazz. Uh, so when we play Mr. PC, uh, we have to think about Paul Chambers, who is literally, literally the Mr. PC, which is which is fantastic. Now, when we play this tune, uh, this is a minor blues. Um, and before we start to talk about minor blues, let's just very quickly talk about blues in general. Uh, blues in general, we have our one chord and our four chord, as well as a turnaround. So really, our, our form is going to be one, four, one, one, four, four, one, one, two, five, one, one. Lots of different ways to do blues, but this is a, a that's a pretty standard way to talk about blues. Um, in a minor blues, we follow the bit, same basic structure, but rather than the chords being dominant, as they are in, in the, the normal blues, uh, the chords here change to being uh, minor chords. So we have a minor one, we have a minor four. And then what that does is the turnaround of the blues, rather than it being a two, five, one, or a minor two, five, seven, one, here we actually have a minor two, five, one progression, which makes the two chord half diminished. Uh, and then we kind of have some kind of altered dominant uh, for the five chord and then going to, to minor one. Now, Coltrane did something really, really interesting and in that kind of when we play Mr. PC, um, there is a little bit of a signature turnaround that is different uh, than a lot of other minor blues. It's not just a minor two, five, one there. Instead, on the two chord, rather than using that half diminished chord, um, and, and let's let's back up for just a second because this would actually be, um, in, in the key of concert C, this would be D half diminished, G7, and then going to C minor. Now, when we look at what Coltrane actually did, looking specifically at measure nine, he took that two chord and he literally made it uh, to, to be a tritone substitution of two. So he actually did an A flat seven chord. That A flat, C, E flat, G flat, those are the notes of the A flat seven. Those actually fit into D, half diminished. So if we literally go D, F, A flat, C, that would be our D half diminished. Well, we actually share A flat and C and then have an E flat and G flat for A7. Now, one of the things that this does is there is such a cool chromatic harmony that then occurs between bar nine and bar 10 as we go to the G7. So now instead of the, the D half diminished G7, C7, C minor seven, uh, that would normally exist as a turnaround. Now we have A flat seven, G seven, and then C minor seven. And that's gonna be a big uh, part of kind of a signature sound of Mr. PC uh, that improvisers get, get a chance to deal with. Now we can approach that one of two ways. There's so many shared notes between the D half diminished and the A flat seven. So because of that, a lot of the standard minor two, five, one licks are still gonna work here. It's just, we have kind of a different vehicle in the rhythm section that are getting us there. However, the other thing that we can play with is uh, triadic shapes um, off that A flat seven chord so that we're truly outlining the tritone substitution harmony as well. And that works out really, really well too. So both, both routes work really, really well here. However, if you're a rhythm section player, we need to make sure that we're actually uh, hooking up on bar nine and playing that as an A flat seven chord. Um, so there's a signature sound, that's Mr. PC, mostly a minor blues, but just with one twist uh, right at the end. 